Hello everyone. I just realized that my um my video stopped recording, I think, when I plugged in my laptop. And so uh I'm gonna record the the very tail end of this video, I guess, for you guys right now. And so I pulled some cards from the Intuit Oracle to close the Saturn retrograde reading. And these are the cards that came out. We have the albatross, we have the star, we have the anchor, and we have the child. All right, so this is energy. It's all about new beginnings, but it's once again, it's about new beginnings. It's about It's about wishes coming true. It's about blessings. Uh, but it's also about that energy of duality and that energy during the Saturn retrograde that we're really being asked to look into and cultivate. This energy of understanding where is something like an anchor? Where is something stabilizing me and holding me down? And where is it keeping me stuck? Right? Where is it weighing me down versus stabilizing me? Right? The albatross can be a good omen, a blessing, or it can be a curse. It can be a bat. It can be baggage. All right. And so we're seeing the dual nature of things and we're really being asked to decipher which is which in our lives and to let go and release the things that are holding us back, holding us down and keeping us stuck and to invest our time and our energy in the things that are helping to move us forward. All right. There are beautiful, fortuitous new beginnings wanting to start for people. And there's a lot of energy coming through that is like we talked about these karmic rewards, these blessings for the work and the effort that we've put in. The things coming in during Saturn retrograde, the things beginning are going to have um, long lasting, enduring energy. All right. They are things that are built to last, to persevere. And so the things that you do start during this time, um, they, they hold weight. They have substance. And you want to make sure that everything that you're that you're beginning or continuing during this time period feels like it has that weight and that substance be substance behind it. All right. So it's all about continuing to move forward, right? That Saturn energy it wants us to take those constructive steps, and it wants to reward us for that hard work. But we have to put in the work. We have to put in the effort. Yeah. This energy of being weighed down, this energy of feeling trapped, right? This ball and chain. Those are the energies that we want to break away from. We got two 35s here, which is interesting. And then what do we have here? We have the mask coming out with the road. This is all about weighing the options, making decisions, coming to that crossroads. And once again, we see this energy with the mask of the ego, right? Where is it that we've been making decisions? Saturn retrograde is going to show us. Where have I been making decisions from a place of ego, from a place of illusion or untruth, right? Am I making decisions based on what's true in my own heart of hearts? Or am I making decisions based on what I think is expected of me from others or what's going to make me look good to others? All right, and we get to choose. Do I go with the with uh, the consensus? This is that Aquarian energy. Or do I blaze my own path? Do I follow my own heart, my own truth? Even if there are people that aren't going to agree. Even if it's going to cause some waves. Right? Even if it's maybe not going to get me everything that I want in the short term. But it will in the long term. All right, this is the energy of being truthful versus being manipulative. And remember, we aren't always manipulative in a malicious way. A lot of times we say and do things that we know it's people pleasing as manipulation, right? Saying and doing the things we know other people want to see or hear. Playing the role that we know other people want us to play and denying our true selves. That's the energy that the Saturn retrograde is asking us to shed and release. All right, that's part of the, see the first card here? Transformation. All right. Those of you who watched the first part of this video, you will know and you will remember that we talked about this, this energy beginning at an Aryan degree at 25 degrees of Aquarius. 25 degrees is an Aries degree and completing at 18 degrees, which is a Virgo degree. And we talked about how it is this energy, this energy of, um, there's, it's intense right? 18 degrees is a critical degree. So there is probably for many people going to be a climax around the end of this retrograde, around the 23rd of October, 
when Saturn stations direct in that square, once again, to Uranus. All right. So there is this energy that's asking us with that Aries energy. It's asking us to step into our independence, to have courage, to blaze that path forward. But with that Virgo energy, it's also asking us to do that from a place of truth, from a place of service, from a place of being the best and the truest version of ourselves that we can be. All right. I'm going to close with a couple of Moonology cards because this deck was calling me earlier as well. Closing the end of this uh, clear Saturn retrograde 2022 video. Some final guidance from the Moonology deck. Yeah, the if we are able to release the ego, if we are able to act from a place of authenticity and truth, to follow our hearts, to release the codependent energies, to release and let go of wherever it is that we're being weighed down by commitments that no longer resonate, by soul contracts that no longer resonate, by situations that no longer resonate the more we are going to come into this energy of, of miracles, this energy of our of blessings and our wishes coming true. But we get to choose. What do we want to experience? Do we want to experience more struggle and strife? Right? Or have we learned the lessons and are we ready to move on and experience uh, the beautiful, miraculous changes that want to come next? All right, we have communication is key. New moon in Gemini coming out with the full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. So once again, we're being asked to speak our truth. We're being asked to communicate our truth. There's two energies that represent duality here, right? The Gemini energy, the twins, the Pisces energy, the two fish, all right? So this is where we're finding harmony for the two sides and aspects of ourselves. Where those aspects of ourselves that sometimes feel like they're at war within us come into agreement. All right. The part of us that looks that the Saturnian energy, right? That part of us that looks at things practically through that eye of realism, right? Through that practical, I, I just, I think I just used the word practical twice, right? That, but that, that, that realism, but can sometimes be a bit pessimistic. All right, we're being asked to balance that with the hope, with the belief, with the faith of, of our spiritual sides, with trust. All right, so it's like balancing conscious, consistent effort with trust, balancing logic and intuition, right? Balancing these two sides, acknowledging there may be two dual sides of ourselves that come to the forefront during the Saturn retrograde to show us two different truths. To tell us, show us two different things that we want. And then it's our task to, to um, bring those energies together and find a way that they can both be content. How can, how can our dual desires find common ground? Right? How can we fulfill all of our needs at once? How can we stop thinking so black and white and start living in that gray area? All right, that's a little bit of what this energy wants to teach us. Conclusions are with within reach, full moon eclipse. So that's that finale that we're talking about, that in, that intensity of the finale of energy here. Oh, yeah, and then new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. So funnily here, we've got the Aries card, right? The taking action, the stepping up, and then we've got the Virgo card. We've got the new moon in Aries and the new moon in Virgo. We were talking about, remember, that Arian degree and that Virgo degree? And the Virgo card says it's time to give rather than take. So this is another reminder of the balance, right? The self and the other. Taking the actions that we need to do for ourselves while at the same time, not if we're getting too caught up in ourselves, if we're having too much time or if we're having too much difficulty making decisions or um, there's just a lot of stress and anxiety, think of what you can give to others. Think of ways that you can give back and be of service. That's going to help balance out your energy. So it's that balancing energy of giving and taking, right? Um, action and inaction of uh, being, being the recipient and being the giver of energies. 
but it's time to take action and to see things from others perspectives and to stop looking so much at what you can get from the world at and look more at what you can contribute that's what i'm really feeling from that and there's powerful shifts powerful changes and energies we got two eclipse cards here we got the full moon and the new moon eclipse all right so we may feel an intensity of this energy as we move remember this energy is setting us up for the the uh, the end of eclipse season, which is also happening in the fall. I'm not sure if it's October or November. I can't remember. But we have another set of those Taurus and Scorpio eclipses, all right? So this is really setting us up. We may see the finale of this energy also as we then move through eclipse season. Or this could be preparing us for the shifts and changes that eclipse season is going to bring us. The second half anyway. But with the full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. It's see that see that best outcome. Envision that best outcome. All right? And then take the construction act, constructive actions you can take toward that next outcome. And you can be assured of, assured of. It's like finding those situations where everybody wins. Kind of like we were talking about finding those situations where both both aspects of yourself can feel like they got what they need. All right, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this reading. I hope that you enjoyed the first part of this reading as well uh, before my computer kind of closed us out. There are links down below to donate if you feel so moved to do so. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, enjoy the Saturn retrograde. We'll keep talking about these energies. I love you guys. You are amazing. You are rock stars. And we are going to move through these energies just as we always do with our heads held high, with our minds and our hearts open, right? Learning, releasing, surrendering, and uh, always being in that place of sovereignty, right? Setting those boundaries, enforcing those boundaries, and uh, speaking our truth from that loving place. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.